all three is here with undefeated WBO Super Bantamweight number one contender Jesse Magdaleno. Jesse, we're about three weeks away for your first world title shot against four weight world champion Nonito Donaire. What's going on through your mind? We're ready, man. You know, that's all that we're, uh, we're focused on is just a fight and uh, getting ready for it. And um, we're right now, we're three weeks away and everything's perfect. You know, sparring's perfect, our timing's good, speed, power, our conditioning, our mentality is just, we're, we're ready for this fight. Las Vegas, Nevada, both of you live there. It's easier for the fight fans to attend for the, uh, to the big fights. Being the co-feature on the Pacquiao Vargas card, how does that make you feel? Happy. I mean, for my first title fight, you know, it's, uh, it's something huge for me. And to be on a, on a Manny Pacquiao card, is, uh, that's something everybody wants. And um, it's just a dream come true, you know. I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very happy for it, and uh, I'm pleased to be on a, on a big card like this. First thing you thought when you knew you were fighting on Ito Danel, the Thomas and Max Center on November 5th. Um, what was it? Happy. happy. You know, very happy because uh, I've, uh, I've been waiting for that fight for a while. You know, I've been calling Donaire out since uh, the beginning of the year, and uh, we've been working and working and working and uh, getting fights in, and uh, we're just waiting for, uh, to hear the news and see when the date was, and as soon as I heard it, uh, I was happy. Did you know you were the number one contender yeah. since the beginning of the year? That's why we were waiting for it, and I was uh, surprised that, uh, that he wasn't uh, trying to fight me, you know, earlier this year, but... Um, it's fine. You know, we got it now, and now we're going to take a full advantage of it. Your fight against Donaire, in your opinion, will it be a chess match, or will it be an all-action fight? I think it's going to be an all-action fight. Why is that? Because he's an aggressive fighter, and so am I. And uh, we both pack big punches. And uh, I think uh, that night we're just going to we're going to take over that show. We should have been main event. Um, you're a Southpaw fighter. That's a, that's a good uh, statement. Mm -hmm. You're a Southpaw fighter. Um, could that give Nonito Donaire some trouble early in the fight, or do you think he was going to try to land uh, his trademark <clears throat> left hook? I mean, either way, that's, that's just his punch, you know? That's his signature punch, is that left hook. Right. And um, what we've been practicing and we've been avoid and, and, uh, and doing in sparring and training, we've been avoiding that punch. And um, I think uh, when it comes down to the fight, I think it's going to be very difficult for him because I'm not, I'm not the normal fighter that he usually sees, you know? The two guys that uh, that he did lose to was uh, Nicholas Walter and uh, and right. I, I think I have I have both similar styles to them, and uh, that night is going to be. They were both uh, well, actually, Rigondeaux was southpaw. Yeah, and I mean Nicholas Walter, you know him being the aggressive fighter, right. and uh, and uh, Rigondeaux the the mover, and um, I have both of those abilities, and I think that night is going to be very difficult for him, you know, to uh, to try to land that that signature punch. Sharing your training camp here in Carson, California with the current WBO featherweight champ, Oscar Valdez, who's also fighting on November 5th. What's that been like? It's great, you know. I, I've known Oscar since uh, two, early 2010. Mm -hmm. um, we went you guys, to, have you guys fought on the same cards um, before? No, we, I've known him since the amateurs. We, we fought on the same cards before, and it, it's always been great. You know, he, he's a great guy. He's very, uh, very, um, very friendly. And um, it, it's just working next to him just gives me more of a motivation because he's a young, a young fighter who's a world champion. And uh, that's something I want to be, and that's something I'm going to be uh, November 5th. A huge Filipino crowd is expected in Vegas that night. Uh, is Nonito Donaire the slight favorite to win the fight, and does that bother you? Um, no, it doesn't bother me. It motivates me more. You know, I want his crowd to be there because, I mean, I'm from Vegas, and uh, my crowd's going to be there too. So it's going to be a lot of uproar that night, and uh, I feel like... I feel like uh, it's just going to be a lot of screaming, and uh, I, don't, I don't care if he's up in, in the cards. Or, uh, it'll be sold out, the arena? I, I think it'll be sold out. I don't care if, the, if uh, they have him uh, in the stands winning or whatever, but I, I'm going to the show, and I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat him. Being called the new WBO Super Bantamweight World Champ that night, if you win on November 5th, how would you celebrate your victory? My family, you know, the closest people. These guys are here, you know. They, they, uh, my son as well, because... Uh, those are the people that have been around me, you know, since since we got the fight news and uh, since we started working. These guys ha have not left my side. They've been pushing me every single day. And it's just something I want to celebrate with them because we deserve that win and uh, we are going to get it. Uh, thank you for your time, Jesse. Is there anything else you would like to mention to your fight fans? Um, tune in November 5th. It's going to be an all-action outpack fight because uh, you got me, you got Donaire, you got Oscar Valdez, and you got Manny Pacquiao who are coming up here to... Uh, to uh, put on a good showcase and I uh, hope you guys are ready. November 5th, Thomas and Max Center from Las Vegas, Nevada, pay-per-view event, Jesse Magdaleno versus Donito Donner. Thank you. Thank you. Uh